from New York, it's the 50 Gabriel Award for Inspirational Media. Featuring film, religious television, Cardinal O'Malley is a national programming, man. social media, and radio. The Gabriel Awards are made possible through the generous support of Family Theater Productions and the Knights of Columbus. The Gabriel Awards are presented by the Catholic Academy of Communication Professionals. From the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center, the Gabriel Awards. Good evening and welcome to the Gabriel Awards. We are so excited to have you all here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Gabriel Awards. In 1965, a group of Catholic communication professionals wanted to do something that would honor excellence in media that entertains while presenting a true vision of humanity. That effort resulted in the Gabriel Awards, and today, five decades later, it's considered one of the premier awards programs for media that enriches the spirit and honors the dignity of the individual. This year, we mark the 50th anniversary with newly created categories for internet and social media entries. Tonight, all of the winners join a long list of journalists, producers, directors, stations, and networks, all committing time, talent, and resources to highlight the resilience of the human spirit. We offer our heartfelt gratitude to all winners for using your talents in this most positive way. Your hosts for the Gabriel Awards are Billy Atwell and Sherry Brownrigg. Good evening, everyone. Here are your 2015 Gabriel Award winners for the 2014 broadcast and theatrical release year. Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston and the head of the Roman Catholic Church's Commission to Fight Sex Abuse, gives a rare and wide-ranging interview. This profile offers an insight into the American Cardinal who serves as one of Pope Francis's closest advisors at the heart of efforts to reshape the Church's governance. When you come here to Rome, you stay at the Domus Santa Marta, which is just right over there. Yes, ordinarily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That means you're roommates with the Pope. Uh, well, yes, you see him at all the <laughs> meals, and uh, and very often we'll kind of celebrate Mass with him in the morning, and uh, and we have our meetings right there. The judges love this story. They said it was informative, honest, and beautifully produced. And so the Gabriel Award for TV national release in the news and informational category goes to CBS News for 60 Minutes, Cardinal Sean. Accepting the award is L. Franklin Devine, senior producer of 60 Minutes. Thank you all very much. Uh, Nora O'Donnell would be here, but she has a gig in the morning. <laughs> Never has there been a, a story that we've worked as hard to get as this one. Uh, Cardinal O'Malley was a man who wasn't particularly interested in doing this. Uh, he, he is Franciscan to the core, never wanted to put himself forward. But here we have a situation where, by putting himself forward, he was able to access the people who otherwise church communication would never reach. Thanks very much. This could not have been done without the extraordinary communication staff at the Archdiocese of Boston, Terry Donlin in particular, uh, who worked as hard as we did at convincing the Cardinal to do this. <laughs> Sidney Zoltak's past contains horrors that most people would want to forget. However, the Holocaust survivor made it his mission to share his story. Zoltak took part in a trip that takes Montreal Jewish students to Poland, where they learn about the atrocities of the Second World War from survivors. Zoltak takes part because he's one of the few from his childhood community who lived to talk about it. It was pitch black middle of the night and uh, so I started to run I was 11 years old running all by myself um, I didn't know where I was running to I knew that I was running away from the ghetto fans 
The judges loved this story, saying it was excellent piece, deeply moving and well executed. The winner for TV national release in short feature is Canadian Broadcasting Corporation News, the national for The Reunion. And accepting the award is Diane Grant, producer. Uh, I'm standing here because I met an extraordinary man, uh, Sidney Zoltak, um, who's sitting right here. And uh, I just uh, want to honor him um, for telling his story. He's one of the very few um, child Holocaust survivors still alive. And uh, who would have thought that Sidney and his family were saved by a Catholic, poor Catholic Polish family of strangers, people who didn't know them. They were just hiding in the woods and a 15-year-old cow herder saw them and asked his parents if they would take them in. And that's why Sidney Zoltak is alive today. Could you stand up? This episode of a Spanish language TV program explored the different ways people are called to give in the church, specifically through offerings at mass, tithing, and almsgiving. Cristo para todos. Comerica Rodríguez. Mateo Grilli. La presentación especial de Getsemaní. Con nuestro invitado, José Sanabria. Ya da inicio. Cristo para todos. The judges found it entertaining. A good sense of humor, they said. And the winner for TV religious, national or local release goes to the Diocese of Trenton, New Jersey for Cristo para todos, Christ for all, offering, tithing, or alms. Accepting the award is Erica Rodriguez, host of Cristo para todos. Good evening. Woo. <laughs> I'm very happy. We are so honored to receive this prestigious uh, Gabriel Award. Cristo es para todos. So Chris is for all of us. That is the name of our show. Um, that is what we try to celebrate in each episode, that Christ is for everyone. God led you, and thank you so much. Cristo para todos. Our next report is about the power of music and its effect on shy people. The location is a small Cree community in far northern Quebec. A music producer gets young people to make a song together. Music breaks through their many barriers as the young Cree write, compose, and perform their own song, which ultimately went to number one on iTunes in Canada. It's been such a success for the James Bay Cree, there's already talk about next year about taking the studio on the road again in hopes of inspiring other First Nation kids who never thought they could sound like this. And the judges loved it. They said this piece was emotional and inspirational. Great job and nicely done. The final award in the short feature category for TV, Markets 26 Plus, goes to Canadian Broadcasting Corporation North for Our Home. And accepting the award is Lynn Robson. I have to say, first of all, how much I appreciate that the Gabriel Awards, which is essentially an American organization, appreciates the work that the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation brings to it and offers to it because we respect the Gabriels that much. All of the problems that North American uh, Aboriginal people have are represented very, very much in these communities. And so when something comes along, and actually helps people find a space within themselves to blossom even a little bit, it means an awful lot. And to see themselves on national television, to know that they have received this award, it is critically important to the way that they 
have their own sort of healing process, and I thank you for being part of that. An article written by seminarian Philip Johnson about the planned suicide of Brittany Maynard was posted on Facebook. Philip has terminal brain cancer and gave perhaps the most compelling witness possible regarding the dignity of every human life. It went viral when it was picked up by major publications, TV stations, and other media sites. The judges agreed that this was a moving, heart-rending post. It is a subject made intelligible to a secular audience. And the Gabriel Award in New Media for Facebook single post goes to the Diocese of Raleigh, North Carolina for Raleigh Seminarian with Brain Cancer Speaks Out on Assisted Suicide. And accepting tonight is my co-host, Billy Atwill, who is the Director of Communications for the Diocese of Raleigh. So now you know that the fix is in. Um, Philip is, is, is an incredible young man. He is a Naval Academy grad and was actually on a, a boat uh, for the Navy when he found out that he had brain cancer, started having seizures. And he does have terminal brain cancer, and, and he, is a, he is fully aware that he is going to, um, he's going to die at some point. And um, he's also very uh, aware that it is not going to be an easy death. And the way he speaks about it is saintly. I'm a two-time cancer survivor myself, and I've, I've said to my wife a couple of times, I said, um, we have to remember these moments, because we'll be asking him for prayers someday when he's in heaven. <laughs> that's, that's saint material, and he really is that kind of material. And what's wonderful is we have a lot of seminarians like that around the country, and we hear about, you know, you know that we, we need more priests, and we certainly do, but we have some amazing, amazing men coming up that are, are gonna be potent for our church, and we're blessed to have that. Thank you. Before Pope Francis, Father James Martin was perhaps the best-loved Jesuit in America. <laughs> he's, followed the calling, he's followed the calling of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuit order, to find God in all things. In a candid interview, Father Martin discusses how we can all benefit from the spiritual exercises designed by St. Ignatius more than six centuries ago. One of the strengths of Ignatian spirituality is, is that it meets people where they are. Uh, it says, okay, you know, you're starting to be interested in God because of a book you read? Great, let's start there. Let's start with your reading. And it's just very open because, again, it's finding God in all things. The judges said this was a wide-ranging, respectful discussion with Father Martin, who was engaging. The first award in the news and informational category is Radio National Release, and it goes to On Being of Krista Tippett Public Productions for James Martin, Finding God in All Things. Accepting the award is Lily Percy, Senior Producer. I'm a producer, so I normally don't talk. <laughs> um, so I'll keep it very brief. Thank you to the Catholic Academy. Um, and Father Martin should really be up here because that show would have been nothing without him and his wisdom. Um, Many people don't know this, but it actually was the most popular podcast of 2014 for us, was this show. Uh, it was in the top 10 of iTunes, and it was really remarkable to see um, how much people just needed to be affirmed um, and find that affirmation of finding God in all things, and he really, um, to quote someone who said this to me tonight, met people where they were at, which he says in the interview. So I want to thank Father Martin and also thank the wonderful crew that I work with, and especially my boss, it's great to have a woman boss, uh, Krista Tippett, who's the host and the creator of the program. So, thank you. This film is the story of Christina, who gets caught planning to sneak out to a party with a senior that she is secretly seeing. Her parents consider giving her permission, but only after they meet him at a family dinner. This modern drama is about the nature of true love and selfless service. So, uh, what's with the empty chair? It's just a reminder. Right, Nana? Good, Mika. There will be other very cute boys. I know. But I only have one family. I love you guys. And I hate to keep you starving, so let's eat. Mm 
The judges said this was a very touching teen message. I will recommend my kids to watch this. And the winner of the award for TV national release in the religious category is Family Theater Productions for Family Dinner. Accepting the award is Julie Siganowski, Senior Marketing Manager at Family Theater Productions. Thank you, and good evening. On behalf of Family Theater Productions, I'd like to extend my thanks to the Catholic Academy and the Gabriel Jurors for honoring Family Dinner. Father Willie Raymond and Father David Guffey, the executive producers, and Tony Sands, the writer and director, are deeply grateful for your recognition. We are pleased to bring this film to families to continue our mission of strengthening the spiritual well-being of families, and this special award affirms our efforts. We hope everyone gets a chance to see it. We are especially proud of the up-and-coming lead actress, Paulina Saria. She is currently on Nickelodeon and Disney and is the current Latina cover girl. She's a lovely young woman who has supported our ministry generously. We hope you will also follow and support her work. Again, on behalf of all of us at Family Theater Productions, thank you for this honor. This weekly program airs a radio sermon by a pastor of a Lutheran church in Pennsylvania. In this episode, the message is on awareness, or lack thereof, that people are always walking on God's holy ground, but don't realize it. Listeners are challenged to ask if they have become too busy at times to see God's holiness. And then you have Moses. Take off your shoes, you're standing on holy ground. Do we understand that we're on holy ground this day? I'd like to invite you to take off your shoes. If this freaks you out, if you're uncomfortable, don't worry about it, don't do it. But if at some point later in the service or the message, you suddenly realize you truly are on holy ground, it's not too late then to take off your shoes and leave them off for the rest of worship. The judges enjoyed the program. They said it was engaging, well-organized, and sometimes humorous. So the Gabriel Award for Radio Local Release goes to St. Luke Lutheran Church and School. For God is with us, have we lost the mystery of being barefoot? Accepting the award are Tracy Morgan, producer, and Pastor Barry Carolinen, a senior pastor of St. Luke Lutheran Church and School. There are those moments when you realize you're standing on holy ground. <clears throat> Over drinks and cheese, I listen to some of your stories from producers to speakers to athletes, and I knew I was standing on holy ground. <clears throat> if I want to thank anybody tonight, it's the Catholic Academy. <clears throat> Genuinely, your goal you put in print is, is to uplift and nourish the spirit. If that's what you're striving for, to find media that uplifts and nourishes the spirit, then tonight you've done it right here. You've uplifted and you nourished the spirit, which empowers me to go out and do the same. And so Catholic Academy, on behalf of myself and Tracy and for everybody else I would suspect sitting here, all praise be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This entry showcases the TV news coverage and community service of a very vibrant region. It depicts the horror of domestic violence and offers resources to help. It shines a light on hunger and then raises money to feed the hungry. It illustrates the distinguishing stories, coverage, and service that viewers have come to expect from this station. Today is the day to begin a hunger-free NC. $5,000. Thank you, Food Line. $5,000 yes. from the Jamie Kirk Khan Foundation. Yes. Caliber Collision, a big supporter for more than a decade. $25,000. This is more than just money, isn't it? It is. We'll all work to provide solutions to the problem of hunger. Together, we started a movement. Together, we can create a hunger-free NC. Thank you. 
The judges were impressed by the depth of coverage and commitment to the community. This TV station reported numerous stories that captured the essence of the human spirit. The Gabriel Award for Television Station of the Year, Secular, is presented to WRAL-TV of Raleigh, North Carolina. Accepting is David Crabtree, anchor and reporter at WRAL-TV. Poor Michael said it best just a moment ago. Uh, when you get to this point of the evening, uh, you're just so humbled, you don't know exactly what to say. I look out over this room and to each of you, this is holy ground. 11 years ago, I was ordained a permanent deacon in the Episcopal Church. And the role of that deacon is to have one foot in the church and one foot in the world and take the needs of the world and bring them into the church and hopefully get the church to act upon it. I think that's what, as broadcasters and journalists, we do every day. We are created to serve. Every one of us has been granted this phenomenal gift, this privilege to serve the public. And we mentioned this at dinner. We're also called to just plant the seeds, whether or not we ever see the fruits of our labor, we do it because we have to do it. So on behalf of all of my colleagues at WRAL-TV and Capital Broadcasting, for the second year in a row, we accept this and we are very proud and we are all humbled, so thank you. The mission of this network is to serve the beliefs and teachings of the church as proclaimed by the Supreme Pontiff and his predecessors. The goal of programming is to provide the means by which the various organizations within the church will have a nationwide vehicle of expression. This is provided for them without charge. EWTN, sharing the splendor of truth and dedicated to uplifting the human spirit. Programming that upholds the values of the Catholic faith, family, social justice and compassion the very heart of ewtn's mission bringing the eternal word jesus christ to the world the judges said the entry had very high production values throughout excellent images top-notch computer graphics and a lot of hard work covering everything and the gabriel award for the television station of the year religious goes to ewtn global catholic network of irondale alabama accepting as michael warsaw chairman and ceo of ewtn well thank you so much uh, it's wonderful to be back at the podium this year again to accept uh, this particular award on behalf of our nearly 400 uh, employees here in the united states and our uh, family that uh, is part of our 23, uh, 24 actually offices uh, around the world that all make up the EWTN Global Catholic Network. Um, so I accept this uh, gratefully in their name. Uh, when you're in these last couple of categories of the evening, um, you know it's a very humbling position to be in because you've you've been listening to and seeing the great work that so many others in this room are doing and have done, and that's a very humbling position to be in. So for all of us at EWTN, we're very proud uh, to be standing beside you and working with you in sharing a message of hope that is so badly needed in our world today. So thank you very much, and God bless you. This award is the Catholic Academy's highest membership honor. It recognizes lifetime achievement and service to the Catholic communications community by a member or a former member of the Academy. This year's recipient has been an avid supporter of all of the work of the church and the Academy, particularly the Gabriel Awards. He has been a host of the Gabriel Awards in Hollywood. He connects us with many, many celebrities and also has provided ongoing financial support. The Catholic Academy Academy is very grateful for his ongoing support and his counsel. So it is with great pride that we bestow the Catholic Academy President's Medallion on Father Wilfred Raymond, the President of the Holy Cross Family Ministries. Unfortunately, Father Raymond is in his chapter meeting in California and is catching a red eye tonight, and I don't think you want to wait around for him to arrive. Uh, Susan Wallace, who is the co-chair of the Gabriels, is here to accept the award on his behalf. As David mentioned, Father is at Chapter, 
And, um, but he wanted me to share a message with you, and he's deeply humbled as well. These are his words. First of all, I wish to thank the Catholic Academy for Communication Professionals, its current president, David Haynes, and the members of the board for this wonderful honor. You caught me by surprise. And those of you that know him can picture his joy, right? I am glad that Family Theater Productions continues to sponsor the Personal Achievement Award in memory of a true media pioneer, servant of God, Patrick Payton. His cause for beatification took a major step forward this past April. It is our fond hope that someday we will be able to sponsor the Personal Achievement Award in honor of St. Patrick Payton. As I mentioned, you caught me by surprise and I am deeply grateful for this recognition and know that many others are equally deserving. May God bless you all and the Catholic Academy for many more years. Good night, Father Willie Raymond, CSC. Thank you. The next honor is our Clarion Award. It recognizes individuals for good work done recently, and this one is going to the CEO of Salt and Light Television and a Vatican Media, Vatican Media representative for major papal events. He is a broadcaster, a filmmaker, and a church spokesman. His portrayal of the Catholic Church brings the light of the gospel to millions. Ladies and gentlemen, Father Thomas Rosica. Thank you. When you grow up in Rochester, you never dream of coming to Buffalo to receive an award like this. <laughs> so I've discovered a new side of Duff Buffalo. There's no snow, and there's also wonderful people that gather for this. Thank you for this great honor, and I thank the staff of Salt and Light, many of whom are with us at the convention and here this evening. It's the greatest privilege of my life to work with them and to work for them. Thank you. The Gabriel Awards are made possible through the generous support of Family Theatre Productions and the Knights of Columbus. The Gabriel Awards are presented by the Catholic Academy of Communication Professionals. And that concludes our awards uh, for this evening. I want to thank you all very much for uh, attending tonight. I hope this uh, evening has been uh, fun, inspiring, and, uh, and worthwhile for you. Thank you, and have a good night. Boy, oh boy, I don't get many awards, and this is really a nice one, and you folks really make out on this one, because you don't have to have me there to eat dinner. I would probably eat $600 worth of food, and you'd go broke before the evening is over. But you know, when the angel Gabriel announced the coming of the Savior into the world, he brought the message of hope and light. Under USA, National Catholic Association of Broadcasters and Communicators continues that message of hope to the world, and I truly am proud to be offered the opportunity to receive a Gabriel Award for personal achievement. Now, regrettably, I can't be present, as you can tell by this tape, to receive the award, but appreciate having been accepted as one who brings the good news of love and moral commitment to the public. I hope your banquet is a great, great success, and be assured that I will try to live up to all the high standards the UNDA USA Gabriel Award supports. And don't forget, the fork on the left is for salad.